As a young boy, I dreamed of becoming a wildlife photographer and documentary maker. As a young man, the dream still burnt strong, but life had a different path for me to follow first. As a mature male, I heard the words, digital photography. Like a sixth sense, I knew my dream was about to become reality. I came across a small animal one day, and after watching it for some time, I realised this is what I was born to do. Study and film its life. For 10 years I built a library of film clips on the life of the agile Antichinus, from birth to death and everything else in between. Now it's time to stop dreaming and start doing. Oh, what an amazing ride this has been. Huge adventure. And as one adventure finishes, the next starts. I am full with all sorts of emotions at the minute. It's just so surreal. It doesn't seem that I actually have finished that. I suppose you could sort of say the first stage of things building a library of uh, footage and everything to do with the Agile Antichinus' life and filming birds nesting uh, all sorts of things to do with this reserve so that I can make a documentary so mixed emotions yeah it's just fighting within myself inside at the minute because it's just it is so surreal Lack of confidence, <laughs> but confident in myself. I know what I'm capable of. Yeah, there's just all those sort of things going on in my head at the minute. But we've finally finished with the drone. I'm happy with the footage that I have. I can't think of anything else I can do with it with, as far as B-roll goes. But the main thing was that I got that beautiful dramatic fly over the reserve. But typical of an artist, we're never happy. There's always something. The problem that I have with this reserve is I would get the drone going, get it up in the air and get to the position that I want to start at and I would hear people walk through the reserve and I'd have to wait for them. So sometimes I'd have to bring the drone back change your battery, get it back up again, and the wind's up, and it stuffs everything up. So it's just been on and on like that. Or well, weather conditions. Has to be the perfect conditions, has to be overcast, has to be really high cloud to the thin, that let a lot of light in, but I'm not getting harsh shadows and dynamic range problems. You know, it's typical of filming at any stage. I had to have the right conditions, so getting that would take three weeks sometimes, so I'm, I'm out of touch with the drone. But anyway, that's finished. We're satisfied. We're moving on to that next stage, next adventure. That's going to be far tougher than what I've already done. It's about doing one little piece at a time and not moving on until it's perfect. So at the minute, I'm experimenting with what's been in my head for all these years with this dramatic flyover of the reserve and uh, my dramatic speech as well to go with that to make a perfect opening to the documentary so that I captivate my audience from the start and set the scene for the rest of the uh, video. So yeah, so it's time to stop talking about it. Stop dreaming. The reality is here. It is time to do. So I'll be giving you little updates. Not regularly. Maybe every now and then. 
just just a little report because it is about doing and nobody likes someone harping on for years and years and years like I have been doing about I'm gonna I'm gonna make a documentary we don't want to hear that anymore so to all my subscribers out there you've been on the journey with me all these years you've been using YouTube as my training ground been an awesome tool to use I'll keep making YouTube videos so that won't stop I still need to keep practicing and keeping in touch with the editing part of it and all that so YouTube will continue to help me out all right so that's it it's exciting I'm, <laughs> I'm just amazed that I can finally start it so it's time to shut up Derek <laughs> just do it now for those of you who are new to my channel if you'd like to subscribe and get notification whenever I do anything click on my pretty little faces down here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen click on a little bell you'll get that notification now if you want to go and have a look at all the mad and crazy things I've been doing over the years click on my icon right here at the end of this video it'll take you to my channel you can see what I've been doing over the years all this practicing but giving you tips as well I talk about photographing and filming in a forest environment I go on adventures I take you with me oh, I've bought camera gear and I've done reviews on them told you my honest opinion on them. so that is it for today and just remember to stay away from that coronavirus and stay safe and remember if you don't do you don't get so get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife and I'll catch you on the next one bye